Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to apply a very simple formula to solve a particular quadratic equation. And the formula is y prime equal to plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. I was the one that formed this formula yesterday after going through a particular formula used by another content creator called Mr. Lecturer 101. So after analyzing his formula, I realized I can simplify it to this. So let's apply it in at least two questions. Y prime, you know, it means dy over dx, which implies that we are going to differentiate this function to the left hand side. So if you differentiate the first time here, you know, this two will drop down to multiply. We have two x and the power will reduce by one. So we have four x right and if you differentiate the second term 3x you're going to obtain only 3 so we have plus 3 here and you know the derivative of constant is 0 so we forget about it this is equal to we are done with y prime plus or minus the square root of b squared you know b is the coefficient of x which is 3 so we have 3 squared minus 4 multiplied by a, you know a is the leading coefficient, which is 2. Multiplied by c, and c is the constant, which we have as negative 9. Let's simplify this first. This is 4x plus 3 equal to plus or minus the square root of, this is 9, Minus, minus, we have plus. 4 times 2 is 8. And 8 times 9 is 72. So we have 72 right here. And you know that if you add 9 and 72, you're going to obtain 81. And square root of 81 is 9. So therefore, everything here is 9. We have 4x plus 3. And I may decide to take 3 to the right hand side, right? and it becomes negative 3, then already we have plus or minus 9 because 9 plus 72 is 81, square root of 81 is 9. So finally, our x value could either be equal to minus 3 plus 9 divided by 4, if you decide to divide both sides by 4, or minus 3 minus 9 divided by 4. So let's simplify this separately. Minus 3 plus 9 will give us positive 6, right? And we have 6 divided by 4. So this is 6 divided by 4, which can be reduced to the lowest term as what? Because 2 can go here 3 times, and 3 can go here 2 times. So this is one of the values of x. And the other one, <coughs> negative 3, negative 9 is negative 12. Negative 12 divided by 4 is negative 3. So the other x value is negative 3. So the roots of this quadratic equation could either be 3 divided by 2 or negative 3. Let us try it on another equation. All right, here is another equation, x squared minus x minus 12 equal to 0. We're going to start with y prime, which is the derivative of the function to the left-hand side. If you differentiate x squared, 2 will drop down to multiply x, you have 2x, power of 2 will reduce by 1. So we have just 2x, right? 2x. Derivative of negative x will give us negative 1, right? So we have negative 1 here. Derivative of constant is 0. We forget about it. So this is equal to plus or minus the square root of b squared. Coefficient of x is negative 1 negative 1 all squared minus 4 a is 1 c is negative 12 let's simplify this this is 2x minus 1 equal to plus or minus um, negative 1 squared is 1 we have 1 minus minus we have plus 4 times 1 is 4 and 4 times 12 is 48, so we have 48 here. 1 plus 48 is 49, right? And the square root of 49 is 7. So everything here is 7. We have 
2x let me take this negative one to the right hand side you know it is going to become positive one then plus or minus you know this is already seven so from here we can divide both sides by two finally x is equal to one plus or minus seven divided by two you can split this right so x could either be equal to one plus seven divided by two one plus seven is eight divided by two is four right so x here is equal to four or the other one which is one minus seven divided by two one minus seven is minus six minus six divided by two is minus three right or x equal to minus three so i think this formula is applicable but i want you to keep on trying for so many other uh, quadratic equations to see whether it is going to be applicable because this is the first time i'm using this formula thank you for watching do share to your lady and colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more exciting videos bye bye